Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we take a look at headlines, headlines from our city, from our state, from our country. We take a look at your comments, your ideas, your suggestions, um, and we put it all together. Why? Because hopefully, with all this information, we can become more connected to our city, to Mexico, to our culture as a community of English-speaking locals. Today is Monday, May 2nd, and it is a pleasure to get together with you as always. And as always, we are going to encourage those of you that are joining us for the first time live to let us know that you're new by writing the word new in your comment, and that way we can give you a nice little welcome. Um, and of course, if you are enjoying uh, the broadcast and wish to make a very important comment or have an important question that you wish to share, it helps a great deal if you add a capital letter Q to the beginning of your comment. And we will look for that during the comment section at the end of the broadcast. So it's Monday and it's a new month. I hope you had a good weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. Uh, yes, no, not yesterday, Saturday after uh, the broadcast was over. I went around town to go run some errands and I discovered a new eatery in my neighborhood. I'm going to talk to you about that. We also have news today about uh, the helicopters from yesterday. And uh, we have news about, what else do we have news about? We have news about interesting things, some cultural things that are going on in our city or are trying to go on in our city. We have news of some sneaky construction going on near the Isla Rio Cuale. We wonder if it's an officially sanctioned project or if another developer is trying to get away with, well, not murder, but, you know, you have to ask for permission for these things, especially when you're doing changes in federal land. Anyhow, I don't want to get ahead of myself, so let us just dive into our new section as usual. Let's see. So yesterday I enjoyed a wonderful lazy day at home. And while I was enjoying my day off, I heard helicopters over flying the city sometime during the afternoon. And I thought to myself, now what? This morning I learned that authorities decided it would be a good day and a good way to show the population how powerful our National Guard is. So they deployed helicopters while military vehicles drove along the Malecon. So it's not as though they were looking for someone or something, or there was an incident in progress. They just wanted to strut their stuff and show us just how powerful they are and send a message against criminal activity. But I thought to myself, I'm sitting at home, minding my own business, and all of a sudden, I hear choppers flying about. Do I feel comforted? Do I feel unsettled? Or was I high as a kite all day long and I didn't even notice? And these are 
the three options for a poll that I just unveiled uh, for you to answer. I hope you're going to get the poll on your screen sometime in the near future. Again, if you see military activity around the city, do you feel comforted because you live in a safe city? Do you feel unsettled uh, because you have no idea why it's happening? Or are you so high that you don't even notice? Please feel free to participate on this poll and we'll take a look at the answers later on in the broadcast. Let me just make sure that the answers are starting to come in before... I move on to our next order of business. And where is the poll? Na, 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 na. Hold on, hold on. Interactivity polls. Can you guys see the poll? I just want to make sure that it is actually happening. Um, Ah, there you go. Okay, so I see answers. Good. Excellent. We'll come back and take a look at the total of the answers um, after the weather break. Moving right along, a wildfire broke out on the hills near Paso Ancho on Saturday, and yesterday it took over 30 members of the city's civil protection and firefighter departments to extinguish it. So if things seemed a little smoky in that neck of the woods, now you know why. Wildfires, by the way, are a major problem this time of the year, not only in the state of Jalisco, but throughout most of Mexico, with a vast majority of the country in drought and desperately waiting for summer rain to begin. Uh, moving right along, with all the work being done to prepare the, the Rio Cuale for the upcoming rain season, it is difficult for us mere mortals to ascertain what work is being done as a preventive measure and what work might be opportunistic. Some residents have reported a new access path being built along the island that seems to go from Ignacio Vallarta right next to the Fit Club and conveniently end at the tip of the island. Apparently, and I say apparently, this is the work of Riviera Molino condos attempting to create a direct access from its building to the beach. Although I could be wrong, it is not clarified in the article. But when concerned residents, uh, city residents, not condo residents, went to inquire about the project with the construction work, uh, with the construction crew, not only did they notice that there were no official permits on display, but they received a rather unpleasant welcome by the crew who refused to offer any kind of explanation as to what is going on. In Spanish, we have a saying that goes, no hagas cosas buenas que parezcan malas. Don't do um, good deeds that seem to be or that come across as bad deeds. So if this is a project that is sponsored by the city, hopefully the city will clarify. If this is an illegal project organized by the condo or by anyone else, well, what are you doing building illegally, I ask. Moving right along, as we announced last week, public bus routes that used to cross over from El Centro to Emiliano Zapata and back prior to the destruction of the, of the Insurgente Street Bridge last year are back in operation as of today. So if you're heading in that general direction or if you're traveling from Emiliano Zapata to points north, you don't have to walk as far as you used to to catch the bus. And I think this is a good time to break over to the weather just to see what we can expect for the beginning of the week. And after the weather break, we will take a look at the poll. It's nice out, a little too nice out, says our snarky weatherman. Today we are enjoying, or presently we are enjoying, uh, 23 degrees Celsius feels like 24. Humidity is at 55%, and our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 73%. Our weather forecast for today says clear throughout the day with a high temperature of 32 and a low temperature of 19. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we can expect a partly cloudy day through the day with a high temperature of 32 and a low of 20. And Wednesday, it'll be a clear day with a high of 31 and a low of 
20. <clears throat> Let's head back to that poll just to see how everybody feels. And uh, interesting, I'm going to show the results in the video because according to you, 49% of you feel comforted when you see such military display. Um, unsettled, 38% uh, of you feel unsettled when you see the military display. And 13% of you were high as a kite all day. Way to go. <laughs> oh, dear. Moving right along. Let's see. Yesterday was uh, Labor Day. We mentioned that on Saturday. And Mexico's Secretary of Culture shared this historic, this beautiful historic photograph on their Facebook page in which we can see the renowned artist Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo st standing next to him. They were marching along with laborers back in 1929. Frida Kahlo, who was 22 years old at the time, had been formally introduced to Diego Rivera, who was 20 years her senior, just months prior to this photograph being taken. Um, although, um, um, th I'm, I'm, they had just met, they had just met, before I say although, they had just met months prior to the photograph uh, at a party that was thrown by Italian-American photographer Tina Modotti, although Frida had briefly met Diego when she was 15 and he happened to be painting a mural at her school. But at the time this photograph was taken, Frida had already begun a relationship with Diego and they were married three months after the photograph was taken in a civil ceremony at the town hall of Coyoacán in Mexico City on August 21st of that year, to be precise. Another cultural situation. Culture just does not seem to be a priority for the local reigning political party Morena, according to this news note. Um, in a recent City Council meeting, a proposal was raised to spend 96,000 pesos for logistics to mount a photographic exhibition here in Puerto Vallarta featuring historic images of our city. But unfortunately, the majority of the council members, most of which were members of the Morena party, chose to vote against the expenditure, prompting those in favor of it to ask Mayor Michel to discount the cost of the exhibition from their salaries. In all fairness, I should comment that we have no details as to the nature of the exhibition or where it was going to be installed or whether the project had any cultural merit or not. Um, and of course, that is a big topic of discussion. So we are not entirely certain what was the nature of this. and. As such, I don't think it's necessarily fair to jump to the conclusion that the reigning party is not in favor of cultural events. But I'm just sharing the information as it was available or as it was made available. So as I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> Saturday afternoon after the broadcast, I went out to run some errands and walked by a brand new tortas eatery that had just opened on Francisco Villa Avenue near my home only one block south of the new whiskey kitchen. It is called Tortas Marichui, and apparently they already have another branch elsewhere in the city. Of course, being a good neighbor, I wanted to support them, so I went in to check it out, and it found myself in a tiny, tiny air-conditioned space with barely enough uh, room for three or four people to sit and enjoy a torta. So this is going to be more of a takeout place for most of us. Their choices are limited, but quite tasty and very affordable. They have um, what they call the original torta, which is, uh, all their tortas, by the way, come in a choice of telera, which is kind of like a bolillo bread, or uh, ciabatta. So the original one is pulled pork. They have a torta called del Chavo de Locho, which is a ham torta. They have a vegetarian torta, which is made with panela cheese and a chicken, a pulled chicken torta. And um, so there's not a lot of things to choose from, but the, the torta was absolutely yummy. I had one for lunch and I am definitely going to be going back to this place. I will leave you with their Facebook page for you in the show notes, and I will be adding them to our Versailles for Foodies map sometime in the next few days. It's always nice to welcome new eateries 
to the neighborhood and it's nice to support them whenever we can. Finally, as I'm sure I'm not the only person traveling to Guadalajara within the next few months, I've learned that there is a new temporary outdoor exhibition in Guadalajara's historic downtown area called Museo del Prado in Guadalajara. This features over 50 large-scale reproductions of famous masterpieces from the renowned uh, Del Prado National Museum in Madrid. The exhibition will be available for all of us to enjoy until August 31st. And you can see some of these images. As you can see, these are large scale reproductions and there are explanations uh, or footnotes at the bottom of each one of the paintings that are on display. Yet another nice reason to enjoy the city of Guadalajara this summer. Check it out. I'm excited about this. So if you find yourself in Guadalajara sometime in the near future, this is free. And of course, it's all over the downtown historic district. This brings us to our comment section. Let me scroll back through your comments just to see what you friends are up to this morning. All kinds of good mornings, which are always wonderful to read. Um, let's see. Albert is enjoying a maniacal Monday, <laughs> uh, in sunny Woodland Hills. I love it. Let's see what else we have. Bill is still vacationing or, or spending time away from Puerto Vallarta in California. Do, 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 do. Sherry Cooper's coming back. Oh no. Oh, yes. Back in Puerto Vallarta from December 13th to February 27. Good for you. Uh, uh, Randy asks, are you doing a walkabout this week? As a matter of fact, I am. Uh, Amiga Luisa asks, what is your favorite panaderia in Puerto Vallarta? It depends on the kind of bread that I'm looking for. There's the panaderia integral that has whole wheat bread. There is uh, Raymond Dunn's wonderful bakery, which is right around the corner. There's Okra Sand in Versailles. There are wonderful bakeries in many different neighborhoods of the city. So uh, for me, it's natural to gravitate to those that are located near my home. <clears throat> then Luisa also asks, what is your favorite place or area in Guadalajara? And I have to say the historic downtown is my favorite place because that's where I find most of the things that I'm interested in in exploring when I am in Guadalajara. There's a lot of museums. There's a lot of great restaurants. There's a lot of shops to go shopping. Um, there are concert halls. There are gay bars. Just about everything I would need is located in the downtown area within walking distance. So that's exactly where I'm going to be staying at the end of this week. I'm excited. Uh, let's see what else we have. Do, 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 do. Yes, buses are back going to Old Town starting today. This is true. <laughs> David gets snarky. Um, can you imagine Molino the Ugly doing something without permits? Their existence was illegal from the start. Well, yes, we know about that. Let's see what else we have. Michal liked the, the Frida and Diego photo. Thank you very much for that. Let's see what else we have. What an amazing display in Guadalajara. Well, you know, I'm going to be talking about Guadalajara later on this week as part of the pre-recorded content that I'm going to leave for you to enjoy. Yes, we are going on vacation, um, and Friday's broadcast and Saturday's broadcast will be pre-recorded, but I will have some interesting things to share with you about the city of Guadalajara and some pre-recorded uh, walk-arounds that I've been working on since last week. Let's see what else we have. Oh, Chef Cali's. We haven't heard from Chef Cali's in a while. I'm letting you know that I did open Rincón Chilango in Mercado Palmar de Armada, locale number 24. I wonder if this is different from your seafood um, locale, if you've changed uh, your offerings or what. 
uh, please let us know some more details and we'll be happy to go and check it out. Uh, John comments, when I went to Guadalajara, I stayed at NH Collection Hotel and it was best location ever. Walked everywhere from there. Yes, I am very well acquainted with it um, as it is near the hotel where I'm going to be staying. And this, my friends, brings us to the end of today's broadcast. I'm wondering what plans do you have set up for yourselves for this week? Um, Doug is chiming in from Cincinnati. Hello, Doug. It's always a pleasure to read you. For me, this week is all about getting ready to leave, which means getting my apartment clean enough to feel comfortable uh, with my next door neighbor cat sitting for me. Uh, so today is put everything away day. Tomorrow is sweep everything day. Wednesday is uh, broom and vacuum day. And Thursday is... Um, uh, how do you say trapear in English? Um, oh, how do you say trapear in English? Let me let me ask my little friend. Oh, Al Alexa's not even paying attention to me. Oh. Oh, mopping. Yes. So Thursday is mopping day. Thank you very much, Dave. You know the word escaped me. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot how to, you see, that's how much I love to, to mop. You know, I don't even remember the goddamn word. Anyhow, this is going to be my week getting ready for my trip. I'm excited. And of course, I'm going to be excited to be sharing all kinds of things with you uh, in anticipation of the trip. And of course, I'll be so excited to bring back photos and video after the trip. But we have a few more days to get to enjoy before we, we, we go away. So have a great beginning of the week. I hope you'll stay kind. I hope you'll stay safe and stay fresh, as in cool, because it's starting to get warmer and warmer. And of course, I hope that we will get it together again tomorrow. I'll be here and hope that you will too. Have a great day. <laughs>